Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm here with Chef Baby, and we are gonna make mashed potato waffles. That is waffles that are made out of leftover mashed potatoes. This is a great recipe to keep in your pocket for the holiday season, because if you're out shopping, you get a little hungry, you're like, oh, I've got a waffle in my pocket. <laughs> Got some melted butter in a bowl here and some cold mashed potatoes. You want to give those a taste, chef? See if they meet your exacting standards. He's not having any of it. He's not interested. All right, we're just going to get these broken up. And this is like the most simple mashed potatoes ever, just butter and some milk. But if you have like garlic mashed potatoes or rosemary mashed potatoes or anything like that, all of it works great. These are a savory waffle, I should specify. <laughs> Sounds great. All right, we're gonna add a little milk. And we're gonna add a little sour cream. And this is a very flexible recipe. You can see I'm just sort of eyeballing these, some of these measurements. Okay, so once you've got your liquid stuff mixed up, we can add Whatever you want. I'm going to add salt and pepper, of course. Do you approve? I'm going to add some diced up green onions, some minced green onions. You could use chives. I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary, some fresh rosemary. I think dill would be also really good. I've also done this with thyme. And then I'm going to add some grated cheese. And I like to kind of think of these as like baked potato waffles, so you could put whatever you would normally put on a baked potato in them or on top of them. And then we add our flour. And then this is just all purpose flour. Oh man, I just had this thought too. So I've got some bacon here that I'm gonna put on top. But if I wasn't such a turd brain, I would have put the bacon fat in the batter instead of butter. What was I thinking? I hope Flint didn't inherit my turd brain. Okay, so then there we go. Here's our mashed potato waffle batter. It's very thick. That's totally fine, that's what it should look like. And there's no eggs in it, so Chef Baby can have some. Okay, you have mashed potatoes on your face. Not, not camera ready. Time to make some waffles. Waffle iron is quite hot. Mine doesn't need to be greased, but if your instructions say to do it, then you might wanna do it. You wanna scoop about a third of a cup, I would say. And this waffle batter, because it's thick, you do have to spread it out a little. It's okay. You don't want to open it too soon, so wait till all the steam has dispersed. And, you know, I mean, your waffle iron's probably different than mine. And then just like, but carefully like lift it. If it doesn't give easily, then leave it alone. Ready? Do the mashed potato waffle. I do the mashed potato waffle. It's the mashed potato waffle song. It was a hit back in the 60s. Lots more steam coming out now. It's been a couple minutes. Just keep waiting. See, there's like hardly any steam coming out now. And when I lift it up, it just pops. Oh my God. Can I get a round of applause? Flint, come on. This is what you are, are looking for. Like look how crispy brown. There's like little cheesy bits. Holy cow. So you could serve these with like some more sour cream, some butter, some chives, some bacon bits. I've got some bacon bits here. I had grand plans for them, but I think I'm just too anxious and I'm just gonna eat it. This is too hot for you, my love. So for this whole recipe, check hylacooking.com. If you make these waffles this holiday season with your leftover mashed potatoes, take a picture, tag me on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. And uh, and I will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye. Oh wait, I should eat this, I guess. Oh my God, do you hear that crunchiness? These are so amazing. Look at the inside. It's like filled with melted cheese and creamy mashed potatoes and like sour cream and I swear y'all, this is like one of the best things that I've ever come up with. This is like, this, this might be the grandest moment in my life forever. I mean, I hope it gets better than a waffle, but if not, I'll die happy.